Greetings, and welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura Degatis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. This week I have been fortunate and privileged enough to receive a special message from one of the most important figures ever. In fact, this figure is so important that without them, none of us would be here. This very important figure has a message to all humans, and I'm honored to share it with you all. I've always been a very huge fan of this important figure, and I feel confident you will appreciate what this very important figure has to say. Before we do all of that, though, just a quick reminder to share, comment, like, subscribe. A donation would be the ultimate. All my links are below, so click on some of them, will ya? Also, don't forget, Thursdays at 7 p.m. Central Time, the live call-in talk show, where the world wants to know where you have to say. So call me and tell them like it is. Now, without further ado. Well, in case you don't recognize me, I'm your Mother Earth. Yes, I said Mother Earth. Where do you think you came from? For the time? <clears throat> Where was I? Oh, yes. I am your Mother Earth. You may know me as that giant rock that hurtles through space while all my little parasites live off of my back. Recently, I have been hearing all of the whispers of the temporary residents on my surface. I think that they mean well, but I still cannot get over the fact that they think that I need saving. I mean me, with all my strength, power, and beauty, but with equal weakness, flaws, and ugliness. Namely, my parasites and a lot of their actions. I cannot even fathom some of the ways they are abusing their own kinds over something that, even if all seven billion of them got together to do, would never happen. You do realize that you are like fleas on a dog to me, right? Actually, even smaller. The hubris of these temporary dwellers on my skin. I mean, there are even many dwellers on my terrain that want to and actually do destroy each other in the name of saving me. What the hell is that about? One would think that they would worry about the other specks of life that live on my dermis that are literally out to kill and eat them, but instead worry and hassle others over something they will never, ever control. <laughs> I mean, come on. I am the almighty Mother Earth. If I wanted to eliminate even one of you ungrateful bugs on my surface, all I would have to do is open up a small sinkhole, and you would never be heard from again. A man was in his bedroom. The earth opened up beneath the house, and he fell in. And don't even get me started on earthquakes and volcanoes. What is it with you amoeba of the universe? You think you can save me? The nerve of you to even think. I need you to save me. I have been around for way longer than any of you parasites can even imagine. Can you say billions of years? You can only manage to stay alive for a hundred years at most. And that is very rare from what I can tell. 
And you're going to say me? Hmm. Okay, you specks of planetary dung. Since you think you can save me, here's a challenge for all you temporary dependents of my great wealth. Gather up all your friends and meet me at my smallest volcano. The last time I felt it burbling, I believe it was in the region of my skin in which you call Forley, Italy. Gather up all your friends and go there and try your best to stop that volcano from smoldering or burning. In other words, try to plug one of my assholes and see just how successful you are. If, for some reason, you cannot catch a ride on one of those giant farting flies to get there, which is also one of the ways you bugs claim is one of the problems of why I need saving. Try a challenge a little closer to where you might have sank your fangs into my dermis. Gather your friends, and the next time it rains, or you have a thunderstorm, try to stop that thunderstorm. You might even try to stop the lightning and the thunder. Good luck with that. If you can stop that from happening, and are still breathing afterwards, come talk to me about my need to be safe. I have an even better idea. Instead of doing that and wasting your time with me, you should grab your friends and go stop shit like this. You would probably have a better chance at succeeding. But you don't want to do that, because that would mean you would have to stop using your designer phones, wearing your designer clothes, shoes, and accessories that are produced by slave labor, and showing off your virtue signaling for shit that you and everyone else knows that you're actually doing absolutely nothing about. Except bothering your fellow bugs and posting on your polluting electronics. Have you been to a landfill lately? I didn't think so. Oh, and by the way, please... Please, learn the difference between carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. Without the dioxide one, we will all perish. Just saying. Mother Earth has spoken. Now, please, leave me alone so I can keep producing the things you need to live. You creepy, crawly, wasteful, meddling, ungrateful planetary dung beetles.
I do hope you enjoyed my video today. I do appreciate you all being here. Don't forget about the live call-in talk show on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Central Time. The world wants to know what you have to say, so call me and tell them like it is. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this and all of my videos. A donation would be the ultimate. All my links are down below. Please click on some of them, will ya? Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Until next time.